Professional football in America is a special game, a unique game. Played nowhere else on earth, it is a rare game. The men who play it make it so. What's up, football world? 84 here. Thanks, fellas. What's going on? 113. You hear me hit you in your chest and now? That means you got to feel good tonight. They call me the freak, man. I'm going to call you the freak. Because I'm a freak of nature. You're going to see today. Just keep your eyes glued to the TV. Y'all know I don't stretch. So if everybody asking why 84 ain't stretching, y'all know I don't stretch. Anybody pay attention to Viking football? 84 don't stretch on game day. I come ready. I came out the womb, I was ready. Tell them, mama, you know I was ready. That's why you have me. He's a sheer competitor. I want the ball. I don't care how you give it to me. Give me the rock. I'm going to get one. I know you're going to get one. First time I touch the ball, I'm trying to score. First time. I'm going to take this over. What? Monday night, you got to feel it. I think Randy Moss is one of the best receivers I've ever seen. Great cash, homie. Culpepper looking for Moss. Deep downfield. Up they go. And he's got a touchdown. Unbelievable. And I'm going to give you talent of God. <laughs> and guy. you are going to separate yourself yeah. from the men that people envy. And that was Randy Moss every time I saw him play. We talk about an impact player. We talk about that player that you have to account for on every down. Randy Moss is one of those guys. And the threat that he has on any given play to kill you deep. Cunningham lets it fly deep. And it's cut. Touchdown. That is Randy Moss. The thing every defense is most worried about, he's a true difference maker. When I think of Randy Moss, three words come to mind. Straight fast, homie. They say Moss is so fast, they have yet to overthrow it. Most explosive athlete I've ever seen. Listen, a, a absolute Olympic speed. There are guys that are quicker at the line of scrimmage than Randy Moss was, but once he got into that second gear, goodbye. His speed just scared the hell out of people. Don't be scared of me. I ain't gonna bite you. Randy Moss breaks a tackle, and Randy Moss races down the sideline, and Randy Moss just outruns everybody into the end zone. He is incredible. Yeah, I mean, he is he is, is such an explosive player that even when he does nothing defensively, you have to react to nothing. It was the first time I realized that there's good players, there's really good players, and then there's elite players. He could jump higher than anybody. Great hands. Was so big. Was impossible to stop. Down there, juggles it. Oh, touchdown! I promise you, when you put it up and you see that yoke, you can't do nothing but get your roll on. You can't do nothing but get your roll on. Moss is up, caught, touchdown. What a catch, yes! What a great catch by Randy Moss! The Moss, the funny guy. So fluid. I mean, a guy looked like he wasn't even breaking a sweat. Randy Moss could be the fastest player in the NFL. There's only two money guys on this team. Find them. Find them. Short drop, Paul Pepper down. Oh! Phenomenal athlete. That was one of the greatest catches Randy Moss has ever made. We were really beginning to understand that two guys on Randy Moss did not mean he was covered. You can put two guys on him, that doesn't do any good. That yeah. means throw it up above his head. They can't jump with me. Golly! Uses his superior size to catch the ball above the crowd. They can't jump with me. Golly! I've seen Randy Moss do some things that I have never seen another receiver do. Lots of time, looks, shoots it toward the end zone. Insane. There were times at practice he would do stuff and it would literally take your breath away. That was one of the greatest.
catches Randy Moss has ever made. What a catch! The one to play the Minnesota Vikings 101. Okay. 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 We will end your game quick. Okay. Great catch, homie. We see the guy on the field and the incredible numbers that you put up. Randy Moss has four catches for 49 yards in this game, so he is the first player in NFL history to average at least 100 receiving yards and a touchdown over the 16-game period. Long with the fire at deep, Randy Moss in the end zone. Touchdown! Another spectacular catch by this incredible football player. 60 100-yard games past Marvin Harrison, with whom he was tied. Only Jerry Rice has more. <laughs> But what, what should we know about Randy the guy? I'm tired of talking to the microphone. What, are, what do y'all want? You know, I don't try to carry myself as a superstar until I hit the field. And, you know, away from the field, you know, I relax. I try to go shopping. I try to go out to dinner. So I do normal things that normal people do. And, you know, I'm more laid back than, than people think or would expect me to be. And, you know, I like to have fun. And having fun, you know, consists of, you know, playing video games. <laughs> hey. What we always call on the game, PlayStation game, what's up, what we always call? Head to tail on the PlayStation oh, game. Tail. All right, then. Come on. Hey, don't stop giving me that ball. Don't stop giving me the ball. Come on. The NFL was so unprepared for Randy Moss's combination of size and speed. The highest leaping ability and the best hands. And Randy Moss just goes up and just makes it effortless. That's what I told you. No, I, the special teams always pick. You should have told him tail. I thought you told him. No, I told you. Watching a secondary as they lined up against Randy, they would be backed off sometimes you know, 10 yards with the corner and sometimes 25 yards with the safety. Culpepper looking and throwing as far as he can throw, it looks like. And the pass is caught by Moss. Touchdown. This guy is just fun to watch. Kevin Smith knows that he's in a foot race there and he can't win. Look at them boys over there doing all their practicing for the D-ball. Y'all ain't gonna stop it. They're really playing off of Randy Moss. And he would still outrun both guys. He not only beat Kevin Smith, he really beat Darren Woodson. There's a saying that some of these kids say that he got Moss. It means you're going up against a cornerback, you jump up, and you snatch it out of the air, and you make a poster out of the kid like you're dunking a ball. Randy Moss was so big and so fast, the Vikings only needed one pass play in their playbook. Paxson throws it deep. Got Moss down there. Oh, touchdown! They don't play the PlayStation like us. They don't play it like us. I thought you told him. <laughs> Vikings were actually able to run a play over and over again called Randy Go and Get It. Just throw it as far as you can. This guy is amazing. They don't play the PlayStation like us. I know y'all are the trumpets of hit. <laughs> they don't play it like us. Throws. Touchdown, Vikings. Randy Moss. That freakish combination of those four, I don't think we've ever seen before. I'm not sure we'll see again. I remember Mike Tice one time stopping everything. And everybody in pause, in awe, in shock, and him saying, that's why this guy is the best receiver in the world. Airs it out, downfield, Randy Moss is there, and he has it, touchdown! Wow. Y'all can put that in y'all's book, I told you and I told you, touchdown! Every field or court he's ever stepped on to play whatever game he's wanted to play, he's been the best athlete. That's his perspective. He doesn't know any other perspective. He doesn't know it any other way. He's got good strength. Most of my hands. Got it going. His teammates call him Otis. You can call him Randy Moss. He is one of the finest, fiercest, fastest wide receiving prospects in the country. As a matter of fact, the senior from DuPont High in Bell, West Virginia, is so good, he never comes off the field. He's a wide receiver. He's a free safety. He punts. He returns punts. He just never gets a break. 
Now, we were wondering, if Randy Moss, the wide receiver, lined up opposite Randy Moss, the free safety, well, who would win the battle? <laughs> well, <laughs> I don't feel that I'm a very good de defensive player, but I think the receiver of Randy Moss would probably win the battle between a free safety and a wide receiver. The reality is Randy Moss will be a wide receiver in college, but which one? I was dreaming that I was talking to Lou Holtz on the phone, and the phone rang, and I thought there was, I just didn't pay, pay no mind, I was just, the phone was just ringing. And I finally woke up, and <laughs> then Lou Holtz was on the phone talking to me. Ah, yes, Notre Dame will be getting a visit from Moss, along with Florida and Ohio State. But there's still business to take care of at DuPont High School. Two years ago, the Panthers had never won a state title. They now have two and are off to a 7-0 start this year. Whether they win a third is anyone's guess, but Randy Moss's impact isn't. Unquestionably the most gifted athlete that we've had at DuPont High School since I've been here. And I think he'll be a good college player because I think he has the, uh, the work habits and the, the, the desire and the drive, the competitiveness to make himself as good as he can possibly be. Ten years from now, I see myself as a multi-millionaire playing for some professional team. The first time that I uh, got to watch Randy play anything athletically was uh, junior high football. He was like a man playing against boys. It was kind of scary because he was so athletic and he was taller and bigger, but it was just phenomenal. Bob Pruitt, who would eventually coach Moss at Marshall University, followed the high school phenom's career closely. He can run in the Olympics, he's that fast. He's got a 41 inch vertical jump. He's uh, the best baseball player in the state. He was the best basketball player in the state. Uh, playing a little basketball. And he was certainly the best football player in the nation. A lot of people don't know that you played both and you was really good in both. From Gilmore to Moss ahead. And we've seen that before. Take us through like, you know, playing basketball in high school. Well, um, playing with white chocolate, of course, a lot of people mm -hmm. don't realize that, you know, he was an all around athlete himself. This is Jason Williams with Moss. Jason has already read him. Drops it back, and that's a familiar play. I think the love of the game you develop, you know, as, as in your youth. Right. And then as you grow older, you, you continue to it. love the game. So, man, I've always had to love the game ever since I was six years old. That's yeah. great, man. I'm glad you chose football because without that, we wouldn't have got to see the great Randy Moss <laughs> and blessing us with some real skill, my dude. Capitalizing on talent is something that's really important. When he came back to Marshall, I'm sure a lot of people thought next step would be back on the street. Well, they were wrong. He recognized that for me to get out of this environment, I'm coming to Marshall and I'm coming here to get the job done.
Or so the phone rang. Hey, uh, hey, Randy, it's, uh, it's Coach Green. I said, Randy, I don't think you're going to get drafted before us. Dennis Green apparently was aware that he was and ran to that phone and Got said, this, this pick is in immediately. If you're there on the 21st pick, we're going to take you. Hey, there's no way we're going to get this kid. But when he got past the top 10, he got past Dallas, there was a void in there. And, and as the day kept going on, I'm thinking, my God, Denny's right. How did these teams pass up on a guy like this, on a prospect like this? Next thing you know, on the bottom of that ticker set with the 21st pick, the Minnesota Vikings select. The wide receiver from Marshall University, Randy Moss. You don't get a guy who's 6'5" who has a wiry frame, who can high point the ball with the best of them, who is calm in the midst of the storm. Man, I told Coach Green, I said, man, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. You don't get a guy with sweet feet like that, that can move in and out of his breaks. You don't get a guy that can pump fear in the best DBs in the game. I will not disappoint you. I'm gonna give you everything I got. We ended up with, with Randy Moss. So one of the best athletes of all time, and he was passed up by all these teams. And I love the fact that he said he's gonna torch the league, mm -hmm. and he did. I remember being in the slot and looking at Randy, and it was interesting to me because he always stood so tall. He didn't get down in a low stance, and I would look at the DBs. First thing I noticed, biggest eyes I've ever seen. And then I would look down at their knees, and their knees are sitting there just slowly trembling. And I'm thinking, oh, this guy shook. Because <laughs> in his head, he's thinking, I got to get out of here. I had Randy at a very pliable time. He was a rookie with a chip on his shoulder with those 20-some-odd teams that had passed him by. Flew out there, he met with Mr. Jones, and he flew home and he told his family, if I'm eighth on the clock and I'm on the board, I'm going to the Cowboys. And they announced Greg Ellis. Randy Moss set a rookie record for touchdown receptions with 17. Bomb down, field the loss. Well, it's been well documented uh, about what Randy Moss did to that team the following season. And it was almost immediately he torched them on Thanksgiving. I done seen Soldier Field. I done seen Lambeau Field. Now I'm going to Dallas State. Man, I'm looking at it like, woo! The moment when you realized he really was freakish as an athlete was the game he had on Thanksgiving at Dallas in 98. I see all these guys that I grew up, before I got to the league, just watching like, man, that's the Dallas Cowboys with that star on the side of their head. He was on a mission to show all those teams that passed on him what a mistake that was. I can remember the coach telling me, whatever you do, do not run full speed because you will outrun his arm. Open to Randy Moss and in the end zone is a Minnesota touchdown. On the sidelines, I know I didn't explode, but inside of me, man, it was the 4th of July. Goes, touchdown, Randy Moss. Moss has caught the pass and is in the end zone anyway. Touchdown, just throw it as far as you can. This guy is amazing. He just destroyed the Cowboys. I think he had only had three catches that day, but all of them were for at least 50 yards. In 10, Minnesota, clock ticking down to end the third quarter. They lead by 10. The Cowboys showing blitz. So I catch it, 
Man, my first initial react. Man, run. Randy Moss breaks a tackle, and Randy Moss races down the sideline, and Randy Moss just outruns everybody into the end zone. He is incredible. As I'm running, I gave him that old school dead leg where I just stop and then speed up. And then when Randy Moss gets here, he just outruns everyone. I mean, yeah. he, is, he is fun to watch. Phillips. Randy, that old. Very vanilla, raggedy little move work. Because Randy Moss, with Deion Sanders out, could be the fastest player in the NFL. I think he might be enjoying some turkey. Yeah, he better like a turkey leg. The fact that it was in Dallas and, and obviously all that that meant, being on the road, that, that was one of the most memorable games I have. I don't think I've ever had a game like that again. That was a great moment. Three catches for three touchdowns, you can't beat that. You play the game, you get a uh, you get a chicken leg. I said chicken leg. I said, man, I don't want no chicken leg. I mean, I'm ready to go home. They all taste great. Eighty, what you gonna do today? Pick up my A game. You got your A game? Yes, sir. You got his A game. It was a very winding road to get there, and the draft let him know that he hadn't blown it. His talent is what saved him. That's what he should really be thankful. It was an opportunity for Rand to get on the map and for him to make his family and to make his mom proud. It's all about making plays, and it all starts in practice. That's what I try to tell you all the time, man. See, Carter mentored you when you first came in. What would you learn from him? That's why it's so important to catch every ball, because for the confidence standpoint. I think what I learned from Chris Carter, man, was he showed me how to focus and tune in. When he goes like that, go outside of him right here and stay right here. And understand the task at hand was to go out here and get better every day to be able to put the results on the field. I still appreciate Chris Carter to this day. I understand that you know, now he's in the studio. Now, Randy Moss might be the best athlete that's ever played wide receiver. Randy Moss. Cunningham. Backs and throws. Touchdown, Randy Moss. Doing something that he likes to do. That's mm -hmm. talk. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> hey! You know what I'm saying? But I began, when he started his pursuit in the National Football League, his goal was to rip up the National Football League. See, that's how we have to work for one another. Yeah. You see me suck the coverage up? Yeah. Come on. Thank you for being a friend. Travel down the road and back again. Your heart is true. You're a pal and a confidant. Good job, Ado. Good job, boy. Old Tama. It's your boy Charles. Randy Moss here, week four. We in Kansas City, man, and you know how Kansas City do it. What is Kansas City known for? Man, that sauce stripping off that meat, man. We in Barbecue City. Kansas City finna head on over here to this tailgate, man. But, but obviously, the scouting department did a great job of going out and finding a guy from, from a mid-American uh, school, mid-American mid conference school, Toledo. Sorry, sweetheart. I know I'm on TV, but it's barbecue. I gotta get, can I get another? Any Raiders fans? Oh, ain't no Raiders fans? Where am I at? But I'm gonna tell you what, on the way back, we're gonna keep licking these fingers and eating that chicken, man. Y'all stay tuned. Security? <laughs> Security. <laughs> hey, now we got two small children Boom. up in here. <laughs> what up, boys? Paul Pepper. Oh, he's deep. deep. He's open. Out there for Randy Moss. He's going for a touchdown. Moss on the fade. To the end zone, the Moss. He comes down, touchdown. Deep downfield. Up they go, and he's got a touchdown! Unbelievable.
his career, he was always considered one of the league's most dangerous weapons, but also one of its most explosive personalities. Not to rehash old stuff, but I was there on the field in Green Bay uh, when the Vikings in the playoff game and the, the mock mooning. Mm -hmm. Today's secret word is... Do we have the Randy Moss No, God. We have to... Can't believe we're even talking about this. You don't care at all. I think the perception is because of that one call in my life. It's probably hung around my neck more than anything. Like I'm this stodgy nerd dork guy. <laughs> you know, get off my lawn, you crazy. That's yeah, how Colin clowns. feels about twerking. No, that, I am a little bit like that. I am twerking of all the things. First of all, the whole game. hip thrusting not appropriate. Jesus Christ. Then to get the cheerleaders out. They're twerking the whole no, time. No, she does make a good point about that. She really gets me on this argument, and I resent her for it. What, in a sentence or two, uh, explain, was that you having fun? Was it payback? <laughs> was it revenge? Uh, just I, to clear the record. I think it was a little bit of both. No, I'm not going to play that call. I'm I am respectful. Care. No, I'm not going to. Why? I don't, I'm, no. I'm, I would say it again. Wait, I would dude, say I it again. I hear it. I'm I don't want to do it. No, Joe's my friend. I'm not going to play that. Oh, Randy Moss is run. in for a touchdown. Oh, Al Harris playing off. Bit up on the route. And Randy Moss, without even really being able to run, as he shoots the moon to the fans here in Green Bay. That is a disgusting act by Randy Moss. <laughs> he ran over the goalpost, and he acted like he was pulling his pants down in the crowd. Yeah. That is a disgusting act by Randy Moss. That is a disgusting act. All right, all right, I get the message. By Randy Moss. <laughs> <laughs> and I didn't really think that it was going to blow up as big as it did. And it's just something that, you know, I regret because it, it came out negative or people perceived it and made it to be negative. So um, if I could do it again, I probably wouldn't do it. You know, with the mooning part, but I'll probably have fun with them some other way. Mooned the fans and then acted like he was pulling his pants down and then went over to the goalpost. I thought That's different. it was over the line. The guy does a fake moon and the world ends, please. Randy and I, by the way, are great. Oh, Randy's, Randy's He funny. couldn't care. First of all, I couldn't care less. I don't right. think he knew that I ever said that or yeah. what my name was. I, he yeah. doesn't care. Now get the fuck out of here. Uh, but we're fine. But that that was one that was like, OK, this one is in a different category to me. And yeah. and then his defense was, well, the fans moon us when we're in the bus on the way to the stadium. <laughs> and my, Well, they give you the finger, too. And yeah. they say you can't you, you have to be you can't turn around and give the finger because they do it to you. You can't do that. There's no room in the sport for this. That is disgusting by Randy Moss. At that moment, I thought to myself, we are kicking their ass. Me and Brett has a long uh, history with one another. I think when we started out in the, uh, in the NFC, you know, playing against one another, and his agent, uh, Buzz Cook, and I have uh, a very strong relationship. So, um, you know, all along he just wanted to see if, if me and Brett could, could hook up one day. And, you know, knowing that I'm a little older, knowing he's older, um, you know, I, don't, I know we don't have that uh, – 
that, that far of a window, you know, the, the opportunity's closing. So uh, we just have to take it, you know, one game at a time, one practice at a time. Uh, I know I'm coming in a little late, and uh, hopefully we just get out there and get a little timing down and hopefully it can and carry on to the games. Top of the screen, Moss guarded by Cromarty, takes the reverse, and here comes Randy's first touch. It's a little toss too far for a first down into Jets territory. Look who's here in town. I got to get it. Get me. I'm going to call, call this for being uh, too far down the field. Well, I'm going to go ahead and start this, this thing off. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and say this. I think I said some a couple weeks ago. Look, I got fined $25,000 for not talking to you all. And uh, me personally, I really don't care. But at the same time, I do, ask, I do ask questions. I mean, answer questions throughout the week. But for the league to find me $25,000, I'm not going to answer any more questions for the rest of this year. If it's going to be uh, an interview, I'm going to conduct it. So I'll answer my own questions, ask myself the questions, then give you all the answers. So from here on out, I'm not answering any more questions for the rest of this season. And uh, enough said of that. Now we get to the game. We're driving the field. Come on, everybody together now. We should still be on that field with this drive. Whoever didn't do what they supposed to do, you owe us one. Let's make up for it. Let's go, o. Let's go. Randy Moss is on his way to the Raiders through a trade with the Minnesota Vikings. Unfortunately, at that time, Oakland was truly the black hole. It's a play action pass to move for the end zone for Moss. He's got it. Touchdown. He finds him, he brings him to New England, and then all of a sudden, you just put him and Tom Brady together, and it's... Tommy boy, what's up? Randy Jean. <laughs> what up, babe? How you doing? How's it going, man? Nice to see you, dog. Nice to see you, man. Good boy. Have a good day, man. Hey, it's going to be a great day oh, for you, man. I'm ready. You know where I'll be. Okay. All right. Hey, just look down one side and find 81. Okay. I'm going to... Even when he was with the Patriots, and he's 65 years old, he's got a beard longer than, you know, like Rip Van Winkle, and he's still outrunning cornerbacks and catching touchdowns. I mean, I've seen Tom Brady throw the ball up in the air and think to myself, there's no way he's getting that. Right. Yes. But he would get it. Here's Brady with a good play fake. The big arm of Tom Brady. That's Moss. It's going to go the distance. What a play. I seen it. I seen a black spot at the last minute, so it was either a ball or a bird. So catch the black spot. And uh, you know, first of all, you know, do you miss me? Hey, what's going on? <laughs> huh? Of course I do. Are you kidding me? There's only one of you. Well, we're on the same team. We shower together. <laughs> they don't want me to do nothing out here, do they? Damn it! Cover two, cover five all day. You don't have any any goals record wise other than the Super Bowl time. I have I that. have um, probably my first time I've I've had really a personal goal that I really really want, and that is the touchdowns in the regular season. He was just ridiculous. I mean, he set the record for touchdowns in a single season. Touchdown Patriots for Randy Moss. Touchdown reception number twenty three, an NFL record. With the Patriots, he set the all-time single-season mark with 23. What he did after having such an average, lousy year the year before to go there and put up those kind of numbers. Fire it long with a fire it deep. Randy Moss in the end zone. Touchdown! Moss went from catching three touchdowns with Oakland in 2006 to 23 with the Patriots in 2007. Hey, you think I was coming? Yeah, let me tell you why I knew you were coming. Because that safety didn't know what to do. That's three in the first quarter. I'm going to celebrate. Y'all want me to do so Act like you've been there. On me. <laughs> I think we all remember this big play here. Third down and one. And uh, this was a, a play where uh, the Dolphins are in a man-to-man -man defense with the middle of the field safety. Uh, Randy shifts over, and the Dolphins are going to they're gonna blitz. And But the coverage is going to be Davis here on Moss, uh, Jones on Welker, and they're going to run a, a crossing pattern here, and Tom's going to basically read the weak safety, Culver. And so when Culver jumps over here on Welker, then that frees Moss up on the crosser against Davis and gets a step on him. We all know how this one ends. That went from this guy's dead to instant Hall of Famer in one season. 
And I think that what I've accomplished, you know, when given uh, certain situations and big games and doubled and triple coverage, coming up with the catch, run after the catch, I think that right now in this game today makes me the number one receiver. And that's why I strive and work as hard as I do, you know, in season and off season, because I want to continue to be the best. Moss's 23 touchdowns with the Patriots in 2007 remain a single season record where he led them to a 16-0 regular season. I mean, he's a play away from a ring if it wasn't for David Tyree. The Patriots will not be perfect. Watch number 84 and watch him take out Kerry Rhodes right here, shoulder, 
contact, clean. Sir, what's your name? Where you from? I'm Gary. I'm from Missouri. So if there's a one-on-one -on -one battle between Larry Fitzgerald and Patrick Peterson, who wins? In their prime time? Right now! Oh, Patrick. Patrick today? Oh, I got a question for you. Who would win between me and Charles? Not, hey, now you really better, hey. I lived in Minnesota for 20 years and followed his career. Whoa, whoa, what's that? So what that mean? What you say? You play? Uh, the Randy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thunder. <laughs> thunder. Thunder. I think I'm the greatest receiver to ever do it. Uh, because I, I, I don't, I think that back when Jerry was playing, and, and, and no disrespect to Jerry Rice, because he's arguably the greatest. But for me to be able to go out here and change and revolutionize the game from a single safety to a cover two safety and <coughs> dropping three guys deep, dropping four guys deep and still be able to make it happen that's, that's that's why that i really hold my hat on that that i really feel in my heart and my mind that i am the greatest receiver to ever play this game can you believe that trandy moss thinks he is the greatest wide receiver of all time why is the crazy because everyone knows that jerry rice is the greatest wide receiver of all time why is he the greatest Look at the stats he is the all-time leader in receiving for every category touchdowns, catches, and yards. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar is the leading scorer in the NBA history does that mean he was a better player than Jordan? You played the same position on the same team at a very high level. Okay. What'd you make of his comments, GOAT, greatest of all time? Uh, well, in the last 30 years, Randy Moss is one of the great receivers. I would say he's in the top five, probably in the top three. Jerry Rice being number one, T.O., Randy Moss, those guys are in the category. Let's not forget Reverend Ike. Isaac Bruce has got similar numbers to both of these guys as well. He's been waiting. But I he's don't not think... in the same category. No, he's not in the same Randy category. Moss. Correct. He's not in the same category. He'll, he'll enter the discussion not for very long. But when it comes to Randy Moss, Peter, you nailed it when he said he's a generational player. 6'4", the fastest guy on the field, the jump ball aspect of what he could do, the way he changed the way defenses had to adjust to play the Vikings, and anybody playing Randy Moss is a huge difference. I think that's what sets him apart. Randy Moss was the main receiver on the two highest scoring football offenses ever. Do you think that is a coincidence? Brian Bellick was the offensive coordinator, the highest scoring offense of all time mm. up until that point oh. once he joined his rookie year. Moss was the leading scorer on the two highest scoring offenses of all time, the 1998 Minnesota Vikings and the 2007 New England Patriots. I remember going to the Super Bowl a few years ago down in New Orleans. It's 49ers versus the Ravens. And I remember Randy Moss saying that he believed he was the greatest receiver of all time. And there was such hysteria everywhere. To answer the question directly, I had a problem with him saying that. I don't think it's something that he should have said. Mm. I think Jerry Rice is clearly the greatest receiver of all time. More importantly than that, I think that you got to be careful about what you're saying when you're wearing the, man, wearing the same uniform. I mean, uh, Jerry Rice delivered three Super Bowl champions, helped three, deliver three Super Bowl titles to San Francisco. Jerry Rice was a great player at the big moments. I suppose you missed the 1986 playoffs against the Giants. Jerry Rice's focus and durability, that's what gives him a tremendous advantage over any wide receiver. Jerry Rice is the GOAT. Jerry Rice is the GOAT. But then you ask the guys around the league at that point, and I remember asking Torrey Smith and Frank Gore and guys that you respect around the league, and they were all saying, well, we grew up and Randy Moss was that guy. He was the receiver of the generation. Best deep threat in the history. Don't know how long they've been playing, long time. It's him. Jerry Rice was never traded. And obviously it wasn't because of his skill sets, because Randy Moss can ball. To me, he's the second greatest receiver in NFL history. He was cut twice, however. Fine, Randy Moss owns the record for most touchdown catches in a season. And only played with a Hall of Fame quarterback for two years of his career. Whereas the majority of Rice's career was spent with Hall of Fame quarterbacks. In my yard, it was Montana to Rice. So, hey, don't make me die, but hey, before we get off the show, can you oh, please yeah. grace me? What did I see in 1998 and 99 and 2000? I saw the most electrifying receiver in Minnesota I've ever seen. He took over games. He took over the entire 1998 season, start to finish. They should have been in the Super Bowl. It was not his fault. They blew a 27-17 to lead in the fourth quarter of the NFC Championship game to the Atlanta Falcons. I didn't see that. Okay. Would, would, yeah. Did, did you see that? Yeah, I didn't. Denny Green, yeah. Green. Yeah. Green was coaching the yeah. Minnesota Vikings. He, he, he had a okay. huge impact on that game, did young Randy Moss in yep. his rookie year. Mm. His first six years in Minnesota, 
I didn't see quit. I didn't see attitude problems. I didn't see desire problems. I, I saw some off-field issues, but they didn't really hurt the team. Can you oh. please grace me with a pass so I can say I caught one from arguably the greatest quarterback to ever do it. I saw him catching balls from the end of Randall Cunningham, then I saw Culpepper, then I saw Farad. I didn't see Joe Montana or Steve Young, and I take nothing away from the great Jerry Rice, but he was in one of the all-time most innovative offenses in the history of football, the Bill Walsh uh, special West Coast offense, and he did catch balls from Joe Montana, who has four Super Bowl rings, two without Jerry Rice, and then again, as Steve Young got the monkey off his back with Jerry Rice and his Super Bowl, both in the Hall of Fame. You, you have to weigh that in the balance here. So do I have any issue with Randy Moss saying, I'm the greatest read? No, I have not. I'm here, Mr. Montana. Oh, there it is. Hey. Oh, hey. I appreciate it, man. Hey, that's what it is. My pleasure. I would do it. I don't really live on numbers. I really live on impact and what you're able to do out on that field. So I really do think that I'm the greatest receiver to ever play this game. You know, I was really surprised that Randy Moss made that comment because how can you not bring stats in or how you impacted the game? I impacted the game by winning Super Bowls. Are you saying that Randy Moss was better than Jerry Rice? No, but I am saying it is a hell of a lot closer than you idiots think. But, but Jerry Rice, it's just undeniable the greatness that he has. Yeah, there you go. There, there it is right there. It's right after halftime, Super Bowl 47, Beyonce just performed, okay? Thank y'all so much. Thank you for this moment. God bless y'all. Yeah, it's going to be a limo here to pick you up to take you over to Deion's house. Primetime? This is why they call him Primetime. I'm going to Deion Sanders. Oh, man, it's crazy. It's crazy. As I'm walking out, I see Jay-Z coming. He's by himself, no security. He's just chilling. So I'm like, man, I'm going to Deion Sanders' house. So bar picked me up. I see the gate 21. So, man, I'm t man. I'm going to tell you what. I'm sitting there thinking like, man, should I say what's up to Jay-Z or what? Well, I didn't say what's up to him because I'm sitting there thinking like, man, I got a football game to win. But hey, man, that is Jay-Z over there. This is all I know. More money, more cash, more. So the door opens up. It's his aunt. But she said he's on his way. He told me to tell you to make yourself home. You need anything to drink. No, ma'am, I'm good. I'm fine. Man, I don't know where to sit. I don't know where to stand. Now that I think about it, I should have just said, I mean, I've met him before, but I'm just just seeing like, Jay-Z, what's up, bro? What's happening? What's happening? So the next thing you know, I hear him coming through, and I hear them church shoes coming across that. I said, uh-oh. I said, uh-oh. Randy Moss. I said, ah! He's high stepping. He's to the ten. My God, Deion Sanders is going <laughs> to score. My God. Deion Sanders, I go crazy. That was just a crazy moment for me because I'm walking on the field right before the lights, you know, went off in the Superdome. When I'm sitting up there thinking to myself, dang, you dummy, you should have, you know, just said what's up to Jay-Z. It's a hard knock like you heard. Left Dallas, go back home telling everybody, I, 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 yeah, went to Dion's house. So they're like, man, you at Dion's house? Yeah, I was there, man. We was chilling, man. We did this. We, what look like? We can see the nice primetime logo already or what? We got sweatsuits started, jackets started, everything. We got it going on. I don't even remember the story of what all the lies I told, but I was at Dion's house. He walked the walk and scored the touchdown. You know, I know that has nothing to do with football, but that's probably one of my craziest moments in the Superdome during the game is didn't say what's up to Jay-Z. <laughs> By the way, right. you you made the transition to TV, and it's and it's not as easy as you're making it look. You're you're doing a great job with that. Whatever I do, I got to do it quick at the line because if he's pressing or he's bail, that's what I have to de decide what he's doing. If he's pressing me man to man, then my thing is to make one move and then go. Uh -oh! During his first six years in the league, he posted more than 8,000 receiving yards and 77 touchdowns. Most importantly, defensive coordinators were more afraid of Moss than any player in the NFL, with that fear surfacing his very first year. The former Marshall product was as good out of the gate as any player in league history. Who could forget 17 touchdowns that season? 
Now, if he's pressing me, that means that I still have to make one move. So once I get him and I beat him, then that means it's the race to the pylon. First one there is going to score the touchdown. Number two, Randy Moss. He didn't win number one on our list, but he sure as heck may have been the most genetically gifted wideout ever. His six foot four, 230 pound frame, blazing speed and toughness made Moss a once a lifetime wideout. A lot of times on the show, we try to compare certain players to us. Who is the Randy Moss of the NFL today? Ooh, good question, Dees. Oh, let me hear this. Man, when they threw me out the league, they wasn't going to let nobody like me back in the <laughs> football league. So, Shaq, to answer your question, ain't no more Randy Moss is coming through that call. No more. The six-time pro bowler led the league in touchdowns on five occasions. Part of the NFL's 2000s all-decade team, Moss had 982 career catches for 15,292 yards and 156 touchdowns. He's third all-time in receiving and second in touchdown receptions. Again, the T.O. discussion, it's going to be very interesting because I don't know if he gets in. There's a wedge of voters in that room who are just not high on Terrell Owens, and that's where I think Randy Moss has an open. Uh, you know, to me, Randy was a guy that changed the game as far as just uh, the, he, the, the speed and the, the ball skills. And we've never seen anybody that big run that fast with those ball skills. What's your gut tell you? Does Randy Moss get in? I think he does. Hey, wake up, voters. What, what? I don't know what the hell football y'all been watching for the last two years, but there's two receivers other than Jerry Rice that must be in the Hall of Fame, and that's Randy Moss and T.O. Get it right.